Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are you? Just wait for the feed to catch up. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Subconscious Healing with Emma Wax. I'm so excited to be here again. This is my absolute favorite hour of every week where I get to connect with you all, beautiful, enlightened souls warms my heart. <laughs> feel free to pop into the comment section. Feel free to share hello. Let me know where you're from. Just going to bring up the comments. Got a couple people I'm waiting to join us. Yes. Awesome. There you are. Hello, Bailey and Sophie. Leanne, hello. <laughs> Jennifer, JJM, hello. Tracy, hello. Connie, hi. Tracy said hello twice. That's okay. Thanks for being here. <laughs> awesome. Feeds happening. So that's all that matters. That's good. That's perfect. I'm so super excited. So today we're just going to do a really beautiful um, quick introduction to subconscious healing. Then we're going to get stuck into some really deep, insightful stuff today. This is again going to be a little differently to how we normally do things. We're keeping things interesting. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Liz. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Shelly. You beautiful love and light. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Belinda's in South Sydney. Awesome. So good to have you here, guys. Wonderful. Joseph is sharing something cool. Check it out. <laughs> awesome. So thank you everyone for joining. My name is Emma Wax and I'm a subconscious healer. So what that means is that I have the ability to identify the deepest root cause of any limitation in somebody's life or any challenge or difficulty in somebody's life. And I can create an energetic shift here at the subconscious level where it's truly going to matter the most, where it's truly going to count. And so I also have the ability to actually teach other people how to do this for themselves as well. So I have these amazing intuitive energy trainings where I teach people how to integrate energy using this amazing modality. But not only that, learning how to connect with their true intuitive self to create a really nice, super clear cut connection with their true self. And then we also explore going into the subconscious mind from here, because as you can imagine, if we're exploring the subconscious mind from a space of, you know, ego mind where, you know, we're experiencing fear, where we're experiencing pain, sorry, pain or heavy emotions, it can be really difficult for us to get the job done, right? It can be really difficult for us to, to go deep enough to be able to really create a shift where it truly counts. So what we've created here is a beautiful program that is designed to expand your intuitive abilities and allow for you to really awaken that truest part of you that's ready to, to start exploring and healing for yourself. But not only that, also to be able to, you know, allow for you to dive into the deeper stuff so that you're, you're no longer ne really needing to rely on other people, but you then be able to start being able to receive healing and guidance from your very own true intuitive self, that true connection that allows for you to transform in each and every given moment. So this is what we're going to start looking at. Hi, Mick. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you got my message. <laughs> Paulie, hello. So good to have you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. It's so great to have you all here. Um, and so this is what we're going to start having a look at today. And what's interesting is that, excuse me, I have a very itchy nose today. <laughs> um, I, I've been really looking at healing very closely lately. Um, because it's, it's something that has kept coming up for me throughout my subconscious healing journey. And I know is, you know, it, especially during times like this, you know, where there's so much fear in the environment, even if we're completely capable of holding ourselves, you know, in a calm and comfortable space, it can be really difficult to do that when there's so much going on in the world. And, you know, I know, especially for us in Australia here over the past year, we have had a lot you know, of stuff go on. 
Um, you know, we've had lots of natural disasters and things like that. Um, you know, across the entire world right now, there is a huge global shift happening. So I know you've all probably heard enough about that. So I'm not going to go into detail on that. But what I do want to look at is just healing in general. And so what I found was that I had really connected with the fact that on my subconscious healing journey, it, there were times where it had started to become just like any other pursuit in my life. So whether I, you know, no matter whether I was striving for success to earn more money or to become, you know, a, a brand new amazing power couple with my divine partner or to become more enlightened and be able to share that with, you know, other people in my lives. What I learned really, really quickly was that these things were somewhat empty and that there is an empty space beneath healing as well. And so for me, subconscious healing for, you know, the, the journey of subconscious healing was so effective that I didn't realize that I was actually using it as an excuse to avoid a deep pain inside of me. So I believed that I was chasing healing in order to create a better life for myself. But what I was actually avoiding was the fact that if I had a choice between having the amazing life right now, the freedom, the love, the travel, the adventure, the money, if I had all of that right now, there was a part of me that would go, why would I bother with healing? You know, there was a huge part of me beneath the surface of this, of all of this, that was just tired of the game. And that has just been so desperate to change, you know, these things for the purpose of bettering myself. I was under the impression that I was desperate for healing to be present in my life for the purpose of bettering myself. But it was just another pursuit. And I'm not saying it is this way now. But for a very long time, it was. It was just a pursuit. I was trying to, I was trying, you know, we all, as we most of us know now, when we're trying, you know, it doesn't usually end too well, any pursuit where we're trying. So the fact that I was trying meant that no amount of healing was ever really going to be able to change what was going on for me beneath the surface until I could actually shift what was beneath of this discomfort that I had. So um, let me know in the comment section, guys, if this is resonating for you. I would love to hear your insights on this up until now. We're going to just explore this a little bit. And so for those of you that haven't really worked with me before, just know that you may be having some shifts as I'm talking about this stuff. You may also be feeling like you're somewhat able to subconsciously identify some of this within you. So I promise you but that by the end of this hour, you're going to be feeling wonderful if you're able to stay with me throughout this discussion. Um, but there is huge potential with every word that I say for you to subconsciously shift something today. So enjoy that. Um, Jennifer says, indeed, this is resonating. Sophie saying, yes. Shelly says, that's right. I agree. There is a lot going on with my world. I had lots um, shift as I don't like it as trying to heal. Uh, sorry. Lots going on with the world. I had uh, lots to shift as don't like it as trying to heal love again and trust. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Shelly. Casey saying, yes, absolutely. So wonderful to have you here, Casey. Yay. Can't wait to see you here tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. So, yes, so this is what I sort of wanted to explore today because, you know, with, it doesn't matter how wonderful our healing gets, right? We always seem to come up against this place where we start to hit a bit of a resistance in our lives. And it's, it's not really what's going on in our lives that's creating difficulty here. It's the discomfort that we want to escape from. That's what we're truly wanting to escape from. Um, so this is what we're going to bring in some truth in for, for us all today. Um, and what we want to realize the first step to this is just, you know, by bringing in this truth, you know, that this is, this is where we actually want to get to is being free from this discomfort. And so what better way for, is there for us to be happy and fulfilled within ourselves than to allow for the entire healing process to shift and transform alongside us over the rest of our lives? And this is something I really had to, you know, get really present to within myself. You know, every time I learned a new healing technique, I would find myself, you know, or I gained some new healing advice from somebody else. You know, there came a time in my life where each time I received some advice, 
I felt like I had shifted straight away. And so all of a sudden I'd be trying to apply this advice in my life, but it wasn't working. And upon, you know, reflecting and looking back at that now, I'm realizing that this was because just receiving the information that I received was enough for me to shift and then to be able to be ready to explore and receive new information. But if we haven't got the tools to be able to receive that new information for ourselves, we're just going to be constantly looking for other people in order to gain and receive information from other people. So what's happening here inadvertently right now is that we're all connecting with each other from a space of fear as we're looking to you know to receive information from other people as we're looking to receive guidance and it's purely just because we haven't got the tools to be able to go deeply into the subconscious mind and to be able to shift any fear or any pain that sort of comes up in our lives to be able to shift that discomfort because once again it's not actually the fear or the pain that we're actually really struggling with it's the discomfort about the fact that we have something that we can't help ourselves with so we're getting pretty deep here and we're starting to look into some of the deeper areas of you know subconscious healing and this is something that uh you know is very um prevalent for us a lot at the moment and this may be showing up in your life in a myriad of different ways um, so Liz is saying she can't stop buying crystals lately. Belinda saying too much hurt and not sure how to heal. Um, Danielle, good morning from the UK and Lorraine, good morning. <laughs> so great to have you here. Tracy, things happening in your world, do not understand. Perfect. So if you're all here, there's, there's um, insight that can be gained from today. So this is the beautiful thing. We want to allow for the healing process to shift and transform over time. And so the, we do this in order to ensure that the healing journey never needs to become stagnant, stagnant. So we can be comfortable allowing for the healing journey to speed up or slow down at any given time, depending on what is going on for our lives. And we want to make sure that that's okay. But we never want to be able to stagnate. We never want our healing journey to stagnate because stagnation means ineffective in the world of healing. So what I'd like for everyone to do is if you just take a moment to have a look at your lives and just have a look and see, are there any areas of your life where you have been stagnating? Are there any areas in your life where you've had very few realizations on how you can change this area of your life? There were certain things where it's almost as though you've just accepted the fate. You've just accepted the journey for being what it is. And it doesn't matter, you know, there's like, there's no will to want to change this. There's no desire to want to change this. These are the things that we want to stir up. These are the things that we want to start to explore. Because otherwise, if we don't, these things are going to stay stagnated. They're going to stay this way until we pass. Nothing will ever change unless we're able to, to allow for a shift in this area, for something or someone to be able to bring in a new awareness to the stuff that's laid dormant for so long. So let us know if you've had any insights. Tracy's saying career. Ruth is saying relations, both family and other. Beautiful. Let us know if anyone else has any others. Hi, Kimberly. So beautiful to have you here. <laughs> so I'm holding space for us now to explore any areas in our life where we're feeling stagnant, where we've just seen no change for the longest period of time. So here is where we want to have a look. We want to start here. We want to start exploring you know, these areas of our life that if we were not able to see this in this moment right now, we may never be able to change these. You know, we may die without having ever changed these because if we can't find a way to bring awareness to these sorts of things that have laid dormant within us for so long, you know, and, and, and this is the thing, some of us are painfully aware of this on a subconscious level. So we may even have this sadness deep down that, 
You know, there are some things that may never change for us and that this is just the way that it's going to be. And that if we were ever unable to really access the subconscious safely enough to be able to shift and clear this, you know, then there's absolutely no way to sort of transform this. So this is what I wanted to start to bring to awareness as to what's possible with subconscious healing. Because, you know, we want to be able to bring light to the things that really and truly are going to transform our lives. And we want to be able to design a way for us to transform our life process in order to find new ways of healing and transforming everything that comes up. Liz is saying health and relationships. Jennifer's saying she struggles with trust. Sophie's saying relationships. Um, oh, Casey, great one. Sometimes we get stuck in a weekly routine. It's so hard to change things. Absolutely. Tracy, nothing seems to go right no matter how hard I try. Shelly, I've been um, through numb with my family. I had to put aside, had to think about myself. There was lots of hurt. I achieved my goals and love my beautiful children's. beautiful children's I was hurt feeling from them so hard to think about thank you so much for sharing Shelly Sophie being alone thank you so much I'm sending you all love right now <laughs> um, I know that that feeling I have been through that love hugs me yes absolutely so thank you everyone for being vulnerable with me right now as we explore this and if you are exploring this and you are with me, it purely means that we're going to be able to shift this for you, okay? So it, whether this happens right now or over a period of time, you know, this is something that we are bringing awareness to. So everything can transform, be transformed. And it's with subconscious healing that I was sort of able to offer the opportunity for myself to change the things that seemed unchangeable. And until you really start exploring this and, and you've been able to offer a safe and supportive space to explore this as we have sort of done just now, it can be really difficult to find those things that, you know, we may never change in our lifetime, you know, if we weren't able to become present to it. Um, and so this takes leads me on to the next point, right? Because now we want to have a look at a moment and explore, you know, the areas of our life where we know there are changes that we need to be able to make. Right. So there are these, you know, these unhealthy or these, you know, inappropriate things or these, you know, horribly painful or fearful things that we've been wanting to change for so long, but we haven't been able to, you know, those things that we're so acutely aware of that it's just painful being alive because they're there. So um, everyone just take a look at those things for a moment. Any areas of your life that you know you need to change that you've been aware of these problems, even just write a few of these down if you have a pen and paper handy. What are the deepest things that you truly wish you could change more than anything? Lorraine is saying relationships, Belinda betrayal, family's betrayal is so hard. Oh my gosh, it's so true. <laughs> Thank you for sharing everyone. What else? Sometimes we may not actually catch the word, but we may have a sensation of that in our body somewhere. So that's okay as well. You may have a sense of what that is. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're making a list, right? We're making a list of all of the things in our life that we wanna be able to change all of the things in our life that have been stagnant for so long, you know, that we never really realised we could change it. We never even gave a second thought to. Sophie, self-motivation and self-sabotage, amazing ones. J-Jam, lack of motivation, good one. Thank you for sharing, guys. Casey, communication, beautiful. Such a good one. Oh my gosh, communication is huge, right? Wonderful. Self-love, beautiful one. <laughs> I 
Lack of confidence from Danielle, perfect. Wonderful, everyone. So keep those coming in the comment section. So what we wanna do here, and, and because I've got something that's so magical happening tomorrow, I'm in going to be here for the Spiritual um, Events Directory Expo, the Global Online Expo. Um, so I'm going to share that link into the comment section for everybody because um, what came through just before this call, and I'm just talking like 15 minutes before I jumped on today, was that I wanted to make really present for everybody what sorts of things they may gain out of, uh, out of tomorrow. And so um, if you haven't registered for the expo yet, definitely jump on and register. It's free. Um, you can also jump on to register for free replays, but if you've connected with something today, it means that there is something in my sessions tomorrow that you will benefit from. So um, please join the group. I would love to see you all there tomorrow. What we're going to be looking at is exploring subconscious healing. We're going to be looking at breaking through any barriers in healing altogether. Because here's the thing. With every shift in the evolution that we have of human consciousness, right? So, you know, every different phase that we've had throughout our period of existence here as humans, the ego mind also shifts alongside of it. And what this means is that, you know, when the world starts to awaken to healing or the world starts to awaken to wellness, the ego mind shifts alongside of this. And what this means is that if the ego mind is constantly wanting to gain knowledge and gain power and gain, you know, it wants to, to throw us into this pursuit of success and, you know, being completely free from, you know, any negative energy and, you know, all of those sorts of things, the pursuits of money and power, all of those things. If the ego mind has any ability whatsoever to connect with this, it can turn healing into a job or into hard work or even into a scary or painful experience. But the simple truth is that we can totally bypass so much of that journey. And so for some of us, you know, we can be completely free from, you know, all of the pain and hard work and the struggles and fear that comes alongside of healing. Um, you know, for others, it takes some time to sort of shift through that perspective of us, you know, who we are, that perspective of our life before we can get to that place. Uh, but what I really wanted to make present for us all today is that it doesn't matter, you know, at what stage of this journey you were on, you know, there is always a benefit to subconscious healing. And it's because, you know, why would we go into healing why would we go why would we keep you know following the same things that we keep hearing over and over and over again about how to heal ourselves and how to treat ourselves well and nicely and how to be self-loving why would we keep repeating these things over and over and over again if we're only having little miniature shifts forward and so if at any point throughout our journey, we can resonate with any other form of healing that allows us to get really super deep, then we know that we're able to bypass so much hard work, so much pain, so much struggle and so much fear. Even if we're unable to completely embody the, you know, the, the beauty of this in, in, in that very moment, we will have that knowing inside of us that we've been able to shift something on a deep level. So um, this for me was, you know, where I truly felt the power in what I was receiving by exploring the deep stuff. And it is what has allowed for me to be able to be as vulnerable as I have been with you today and for us to share, you know, this space from this, this level of vulnerability, but without connecting from a space of limitation, without connecting from a space of fear in a way that is you know, continuing to, to therefore circulate it, you know, into other areas of our lives where we may not want to have that fear. So um, I'm going to run through the steps for everybody. I want to have a look at the recipe, you know, the recipe that got me to where I am today and, and you know, what those steps look like so that you can start to get a bit of a perspective around this journey. 
And I want to lead into exactly what that one and most important thing was that kept me straying away from the purpose of my very own healing journey in any given moment so that I didn't fall into you know, the pain or the fear, that one amazing thing that has kept me connected this entire time. Um, so I'm just going to read through a couple more um, comments. Kimberly says, thank you, Sophie. Yay, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Shelly, yes, I know, teenagers. <laughs> um, Shelly, I agree. What we do in our life has been a medium and psychic for 10 years and others never give up as a lot. Um, Oh, uh, yep. And others never give up as a lot of hard work. I love to have my own business. Just don't know where to turn doing my card and coffee reading with close friends too, who I love the most and very spiritual. Oh, beautiful, Shelly. You are actually going to love so much what's coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Um, so we've brought some awareness in today and we've just been allowing all of this energy to shift for you all. So if you're experiencing this in any way, you know, shape or form, ensure that you drink lots of water after today and you, you very much look after yourself. Um, what we're going to look at now is the recipe. So the very first step, you know, that I found with the healing journey is healing ourselves, healing the body, healing the mind, healing our past and healing our karma. So there are literally millions, right, of people out there who are now able to help us with that sort of thing. And that is absolutely wonderful. And this probably, you know, is somewhat similar to the second step, which is to explore subconscious healing. And so I want to just go into subconscious healing a little bit and just explain a little bit more about what I mean when I use this term, because we're not just delving into the subconscious. And as you would have noticed today, we were able to bring some really deep awareness to the table, whilst also potentially being able to raise your vibration and expand your intuitive abilities somewhat. But what I found happens is that exploring the subconscious only gets us so far. If we ever find that we have been exploring the subconscious mind and we've been able to have a realization, right? So for, for whatever reason, we've been able to have a shift. And that's wonderful. And we've realized that we've had a change. What sometimes instantly pops up is then this doubt, this doubt in the process, this doubt in our ability to heal, this doubt in our life ever having, you know, ever be having the, the potential to possibly change ever again. And this is actually that real heavy part of us that can make the journey so difficult sometimes. You know, again, like I said, it's, it's the part of us that drives us into the ground with the healing journey or the part of us that, you know, knocks us up into, you know, a space where we feel like even the healing isn't kind of helping us any, anymore, you know, or that we're not feeling we're getting good enough results from healing. So there are always, you know, two huge components of our being to be aware of when, we, when we're shifting deep things. And the first is subconscious, you know, the, exploring the subconscious mind and clearing any limitations there. So when we're looking at this, we're looking at thoughts, feelings, emotions, you know, memories, um, past experiences, past life experiences, anything that could have been embedded in the subconscious mind as an experience that could limit our current perspective of where we see ourselves currently being. But what happens is that when the ego mind comes into play as well, this is where our perception really starts to get played with. And I do this because I usually see the ego mind sitting in this area of our mind space and it loves to sabotage us. It loves to you know, create difficulty for us. And you know, the funny thing is that the ego mind is most of the time just attempting to protect us. So it can be a very delicate process working on clearing, you know, this part of us, the part of us that wants to bring us down and wants to really, you know, that really underappreciates who we are as a being. It can be a very delicate process at looking at clearing and breaking down this side of us. So when I, when I look at subconscious healing, you know, this is a process beyond just exploring the subconscious because we're also breaking down the ego mind perspective. But throughout that process, a beautiful thing happens. 
we start to uncover our true intuitive self. We start to gain new levels of intuitive wisdom and, and we start to become able to be able to access, you know, whole new realms of intuitive wisdom. And, and it can be next to impossible for us to access this with everything else that we've got going on in our being, right? With all of this heavy stuff in our subconscious, with all of the, the mind chatter and the ego, you know, the perspective of, you know, our, our world and our life and our reality and how it has always been, even though we may have some element of intuitive knowing, you know, that we could move past this. It can still be such a really tough battle trying to break through that. And so this is where subconscious healing really starts to benefit people because we're not only getting really strategic about breaking down the ego mind perspective and about clearing the subconscious mind, but we're also growing a beautiful new intimate connection with your soul that allows for you to really start gaining a new perspective on who you really are and who you'd like to be, but it allows for this to become a part of your reality. And so anyone who's interested in tomorrow, please definitely check out the, the programs that we have listed there. We're going to be doing some beautiful meditations. We're going to be clearing lots of energy, clearing limiting beliefs, and we're going to be looking at exactly how we can create this shift for you. And this will be, again, slightly different for everybody who experiences this journey, yet we are all able to be here together at the same time. Belinda's wanting to look at PTSD. Sophie's letting go. Belinda, trauma. Um, Liz, I always doubt my decisions. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, guys. So, yeah, absolutely. These are all things that we want to be able to look at. We want to be able to be free from, I and so here's the thing, because with subconscious healing, you know, I never promise anybody that all you need is these five simple sessions and then all of your problems in life will be solved. And that's it for the rest of your life. Of course, not the case. But your current perspective of healing will change and you will be given the tools and the techniques to be able to allow in the new transitional phases of exactly your perfect way of being able to keep up of your perfect way of being able to ensure that your healing journey continues shifting for the rest of your life and that is what we offer with the beautiful connection to your true intuitive self and with the ability to sort of shift anything that comes up this is what you gain you gain the opportunity to ensure that you can heal and shift and transform at any given moment of your journey and so I have a range of programs designed to support people around this. But the third most important step of any subconscious healing journey, and this is a really beautiful part of it, because once we've cleared a majority of the sabotage out of the way of you being able to, you know, be your truest version of you, all of a sudden we've opened up this, this beautiful new space. And if I was to look at what was the biggest, most important and amazing thing that stopped me from derailing throughout my healing journey, it was this, that I had connected with my life purpose. I had connected with it so intimately that I found exactly why I was here and what I'm here to do. And I allowed myself to explore that. And, and I, I started fulfilling my purpose. And this was the most beautiful and magical thing that has kept me connected to the light throughout this entire journey. And it doesn't mean that I never experience fear. It doesn't mean that I don't have, I don't really have pain in the same sense of the word anymore, but you know, some somewhat of pain. <laughs> it's a weird thing to describe. But what it does mean is that I am now able to stay connected to the higher purpose of anything and everything that's going on for me in my life. So what this means is that I'm on a journey where I'm slowly starting to clear out and let go of all the things that are no longer serving me. But not only that, I'm also starting to bring in the new wonderful reality that I do want to live. And so it means that in any given moment, you know, that I have to fall into the world of limitation and experience some real world stuff for a day. It's okay. 
because I've got the higher purpose there. I can see how this is connected to my life purpose and how I can use it to help other people. And I can truly allow myself to stay connected to my truth throughout this journey. So this is the three-step, you know, plan that I have followed to get to where I am to, to get to where I am today. And everything that I'm going to be going through tomorrow is going to be designed around offering this to you and not only offering you a process to stay connected with these three steps, but also a way to receive all of the wonderful insights and help that I wish I had have had throughout my journey. So all of the little, you know, areas throughout my journey where I really felt that I, you know, feel that I kind of fell down, where I didn't have the support, where I really needed it. Uh, this was, uh, you know, everything that's coming up tomorrow is exactly serving that purpose. It's going to offer all of you the opportunity to completely break free from the journey that you've been on up until now and allow in whole new levels of this journey, but not just today and not just tomorrow and not just the next day, but for every day for the rest of your life. Even on those days where you, you would normally be, you know, curled up in a ball and just, you know, in the fetal position, just going, why? <laughs> You know, those days start to become non-existent. And even if one of those days start to flood into your life, you see the purpose of it, you know what to clear, you know how to deal with it, and you know how to receive love from your true intuitive self in any given moment that you need to. So um, thank you so, so much, um, you know, everyone for giving me the opportunity to share this vulnerable space with you. I would love to... Um, share with you in the comments section now my expo booth in case you'd like to check out what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. In the meantime, if anyone would like to share a couple of um, things that are present for them at the moment, I would love to tune in and connect in on a couple of things. Um, we only have 20 minutes, so we don't have too long, but please um, let me know if you have any questions about subconscious healing. If you have any questions about the sorts of um, difficulties that you've been experiencing um, and you're struggling with sort of seeing how you could receive help for something like that and you want a bit more insight onto that, definitely let me know. Um, Shelly, I have my brother around and my beautiful twin girls. They cheek, they're cheeky, I believe. Heaven is second home. I've been heaven as a not always ready to be there. Oh, Shelly, beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, kids love this energy. Belinda, congratulations. Wish I was there. Oh, thank you, Belinda. You know what? Um, everyone has the opportunity to be here. This is what I love about this. You know, there really is no right or wrong way with subconscious healing. Everything just is. And so, you know, there are a lot of people that I used to look up to and I used to be like, oh my gosh, I wish I was there. You know, but what I realized once I was able to find this comfortable space, um, you know, was that just, I can now be perfectly comfortable with where I am. You know, it's really, you know, everyone has, it, it's, it's, I truly believe it's because I've connected with my life purpose, you know, because, you know, there are a lot of areas of my life where I'm really not up to scratch compared to other people, you know, and so I may feel, you know, um, you know, the old me would have wanted to compare myself, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say to where a lot of other people may be on their journey. But this is the thing. Once you've been able to discover your life purpose and see why you're here, there really is no comparison because you found that one, you found that one perfect thing that you were here to help other people with. And that's worth its weight in gold. That's what allows for, you know, you to really achieve all that you're here to achieve and to, to be comfortable with the journey, you know, to allow for yourself to, to be kind to yourself and, and to allow for yourself to embrace any, you know, perfect element of your life that, that comes up in any given moment. So that's so wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing and for being with me. Um, how do you find your true life purpose? Very good question, Belinda. Um, what I would love for everyone to do is to jump into um, is to jump into the booth for tomorrow, and I'm going to explore that a little bit tomorrow. We're going to have a look at 
you know, how to discover your life purpose. I did a wonderful training with a company called Intuition Wisdom. Um, and some of the techniques that I use are actually theirs. And so if anyone is interested, um, I can 100% connect you with the amazing people that allowed for me to discover my life purpose journey. Um, is subconscious healing is the first step, right? Because once we've been able to clear all of the biggest sabotage that's in the way of us discovering our life purpose, then we can allow for that journey to be a breeze. And so what I offer is a program which allows for you know, those who are interested in this to identify, you know, all of their biggest sabotages to be able to clear and learn the techniques to be able to subconsciously heal and, you know, be able to clear anything that they need to in their life, then in order to be able to open up to their life purpose. So then during the life purpose training program, I also offer sessions alongside of this, whereby you know, I'm, offered to off, I'm able to offer the opportunity to hold space. So that when you're, you know, throughout your life purpose journey, if there's any area, um, you know, where you find yourself stuck or where you find yourself looking for, um, you know, some new, um, you know, support along this journey, um, you know, you've got everything that you need. And so this journey really does look differently for everyone. And uh, there's a group of about 300 people now who have done the training that I do and I offer a wonderful supportive system between myself and all of them. Uh, so if anybody is interested in life purpose, definitely jump into the booth tomorrow. Um, definitely the first workshop I'll be doing tomorrow, subconscious healing workshop, um, would be the perfect place to go to. This workshop is where we're going to recap subconscious healing and then we're going to look at exactly what that might look like for you. <laughs> Shelly, it was so wonderful seeing you again as well. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'm not seeing any questions come through. So I guess what I'd like to do is I'd just like to finish today with a beautiful truth and some, some beautiful insight for everyone. So this may come through as a, um, a beautiful insight. Casey, I feel I have lots to clear, but really want to get onto my life purpose journey. Yeah, I could really feel that in the space today. It feels like everyone here has some new, wonderful life purpose discovery to achieve. So I'd really love to, you know, assist in guiding you all there. So definitely 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning is the subconscious healing workshop in my expo booth. So definitely check that out. Um, and we will have a look at that for sure. Yes, definitely, Belinda. I can let you know tomorrow as well about any life purpose exploration. Gail, can you see anything for me? Let's have a look, Gail. Yeah, so Gail, I'm feeling you'll enjoy this final integration as well that I was going to bring in for everyone. So that's really wonderful. We can all do this together. So here's an interesting thing, right? We've connected with a lot of fear today and we've been able to shift a lot of fear. And what I'm seeing was connected with this fear was that a lot of people, most of you on this call had sort of opened up a new space to be able to allow in new levels of opportunity into your life. And so a lot of the fear you may have been experiencing recently is this fear of the unknown, this fear of not really knowing how life is going to look in the future, not really knowing, you know, what's next or where your future lies, not really knowing what these opportunities are going to look like because you're subconsciously aware of the fact that these opportunities, you haven't lived them before now. You know, this isn't something that you can relate to and experience from your past. This is something brand new. These experiences and these opportunities that are coming in for you, they are so, so super wonderful that you, you really can't compare them to anything else. And that's the scariest thing is that it's uncomparable. It's what the mind says. It's uncomparable, incomparable. It's not possible for us to really be able to, to be able to put this into a box with a label and to be able to say, okay, I feel comfortable with the journey now. So what feels really beautiful and wonderful is for us to bring some awareness to that, which means that once again, we can all allow ourselves to be, you know, a little kinder to ourselves, a little more comfortable in any experiences of fear, just knowing that in any given moment, the, you know, the moment that our timing lines up, the moment that it is 
you know, that perfect time to explore our life purpose, we are going to meet that perfect person and we're going to feel that connection and we're going to be able to really feel comfortable with the steps that we are taking moving forward. And even if there is a bit of hesitation or a bit of fear or discomfort, we have that knowing within us that we are on the right path. So Kimberly is saying, yes, that's it. That's a hope I feel wonderful. Yes. So everyone on this call is connecting with that, the area of life purpose. It truly is the key to having your healing journey become successful. It truly is because, you know, with the healing journey, there are so many different cycles and levels and areas of life to explore and, and so many wonderful versions of healing. But if we're not connected to the higher purpose of, you know, the reason why we're here to heal ourselves in the first place, you know, then we get lost. We get lost in, you know, forms of healing and looking after ourselves, you know, that may be bringing miniature shifts, uh, sorry, yeah, miniature shifts without a huge amount of gain, you know, that aren't benefiting us and fulfilling us on whole levels. Whereas if we were to focus on our life purpose in any given moment, it is always fulfilling, you know, even if there's vulnerability, it's fulfilling, even if there's fear, it's fulfilling. And even if there's pain, it can still be fulfilling. And so, you know, for myself here, I've broken through a new, to new levels of that today. And I would really love the opportunity to, to share more with you all on that tomorrow so that, you know, we can explore exactly what perfect space, you know, is going to be present there for you on your subconscious healing journey. Um, so thank you so, so much to everyone who has joined me here today it's been absolutely wonderful connecting here and i'm glad that we've been able to bring in some new wonderful insights you may feel some new levels of beautiful love and light expanding throughout you now <laughs> i hope you have an absolutely wonderful evening and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow thank you belinda i can't wait to see you as well <laughs> Um, 9 a.m australian eastern standard time for the subconscious healing workshop is the first one um, but yeah, if everyone attends that one, then I'll be able to give very good direction as to what's, what's going to be beneficial for you for the rest of the day. And don't forget to register for your replays. So um, if you register for the Global Expo, and I think it's as cheap as like $11 to receive the replays, then you get to catch up on replays with all of the other workshop presenters and speakers uh, throughout the day as well. So it's very exciting. Everyone gets a beautiful day of healing. What did someone call it the other day? I think that was you, Sophia, subconscious healing spa day. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful healing day for everybody. Just a spa day of healing. Amazing entire day. So thank you all so, so much. It was so beautiful to connect with you. Um, and I cannot wait to see you bright and early tomorrow morning. I hope you have a wonderful evening and day. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye, Shelley. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Bye, everyone. Mwah.